Hello book lovers, welcome back to my channel, Harshikisin. Today I am here with a solution to a big confusion, that is 5th Farm Day project work. All the Farm Day students from the very first year are confused and afraid about the project to be done in the 5th year. So, here is the answer which clears all the doubts about the project work. In order to speak out all the details, it will take so much time. So, I'll make a series of small videos. In this video, I'll be speaking about what all the events a student will go through in project work from day 1 to final presentation. Without any further delay, let's start our video. The very first event you will see is team guide selection. According to your institution rules, you will be teamed up and guide will be allotted. Next, you have to go for title selection. In this, we have two stages. You have to decide which department, what type of study it is. For example, it may be orthopedics department or gynecology or general medicine, etc. The type of the study means whether it may be a comparison between two drugs or estimation of efficacy of a drug. After the title selection, you need to prepare a protocol for your study. Protocol is nothing but rule book of your study. Protocol means the planning of whole process, what you are going to do in the project. Protocol contains introduction to the study, need for the study, review of literature, aims and objectives, materials and methods, sample size, research hypothesis, inclusion and exclusion criteria, study method, methodology, study procedure, statistical analysis, safety considerations, follow-up, expected results and conclusion. Next, you need to prepare Proforma. Proforma is a questionnaire prepared according to the data requirements. For example, if you take a study on liver, you need to observe liver function test, USG, liver size. So, according to your study data requirement, your questionnaire will be designed. Next, we'll move on to data collection. This data collection will be from your hospital posting site under the guidance of hospital guide. After the protocol presentation, the presentation of your work for the first time is review 1. This includes how was your work going on and are you following your protocol and you will be getting some suggestions and corrections from the examiners to be implemented in further study. After review 1, will get complete idea of research work going on. From now, you will increase the data collection as it should be finished before review 2. The results should be expected based on the collected data. Now, after 2 months, the review 2 will be arranged. In that presentation, you will be focusing on the changes you made and the discussion of expected results and difficulties you are facing in this study. The examiner will share their thoughts. After review 2, the only part left is real result calculations and summarization of work. You need to choose one analytical method which suits your requirement and a software in which you are going to analyze the data statistically. After the result calculation, you need to summarize the work and conclude the thesis. Your results will tell the outcome of the study. So you need to write a short story about the outcome in the slide of conclusion. By this time, you will be ready for the review 3. In this, you will be completely focusing on results obtained and statistical method used and conclusion. After review 3, the final presentation will be in the line. Finally, we are at the big day of 5th FarmD project presentation. In this presentation, there will be less or no changes from the review 3. One slide you need to add is the future aspects from this study. So that's all about project work of 5th Farm D. I'll be explaining each and every part in detail in upcoming videos. Do post your doubts in the comment section. I would love to learn along with you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.